the main thing had always been the fact that music was a moving thing and that's what I wanted to carry with me even now you know yeah. with what I do the studying was very interesting for me um, not always the most pleasant because I'm a very unorthodox learner. I would feel like I'm being taught concepts, but the way I receive them wouldn't be the way that I should receive them, if mm -hmm. that makes sense. But the thing is, the information is still with me now and I use it today, but it was just that mental conflict mm -hmm. that yeah. this is how I'm supposed to relate yeah. with it, as opposed to me just relating it yeah. to it the way I do. So myself and RJ Benjamin met on the first season of The Voice South Africa, which I was a part of. Yes. Um, that already was just like, let's just dive into it and do everything. Um, and I was really inspired by the ability to be quite versatile in the show and do a lot of things mm -hmm. I wouldn't normally be known yeah. to do. Mm -hmm. um, so he was my vocal coach there. And um, he recently approached me and he was like, look, I'm doing a rework of a song of mine called All yes, Tied Up. Yeah. And I have this falsetto thing going on. I think it would be nice to have you yeah. on it. And I was like, okay, snap. <laughs> well, I've known you for a while and I've respected you. It, it just seemed like mm -hmm. an honor, to, a yeah. genuine honor to be a part of it. I firstly think that music is there to evoke emotion mm -hmm. and that if you are experiencing something musical and it's not evoking a message, it's not music. Mm -hmm. Whether your voice is croaking or we are bimba or whatever the case may be, but if people are moved by what you're doing, then that is what you call music. And for me, I just want to be able to relate the human experience to people. my first time doing mm -hmm. the Basha Uhuru festival and I don't know something feels different um, and I relate to the Constitution Hill in a very interesting way because that's where we were doing our Winnie Mandela tribute that was run by Rory Sang and her and her people you know and to be back in in that space Thanks. celebrating the youth through the Basha Uhuru festival mm -hmm. is just going to be absolutely amazing to me the space speaks to what the organization is trying to achieve for me um, and you can't buy that genuine mm -hmm. feel of mm -hmm. that you know and the lineup is is obviously completely maddening yeah, we're yeah, gonna yeah. have your shoma josies you know <laughs> banging and cracking and breaking and doing amazing things there's squatter camp to sing along to um there's all these people you know that are just going to contribute to different dynamics so we're just there to celebrate and engage yeah. it's also not a me time yeah, it's like yeah. a a vibe, yeah, we're gonna create a vibe. Yeah.